I will say this, Power Rangers was wonderful for me because it was my first real professional job when I came very late to Hollywood in my 40s. Nobody does that. Nobody comes to Hollywood in their 40s. Um, and my first day on the job, it was so bizarre to me because I walked in knowing that I was a day player, which is as low as you can get in the acting world, okay? You come in for a day, you shoot, you go home. And hopefully they like what you did and maybe they'll hire you again. But I walked into the building, and this is when they were over in Culver City, before the earthquake. And um, the first thing was a PA production assistant met me at the door, and she's got a walkie-talkie. She says, Royce Heron walking in the building. Royce Heron walking in the building. And I thought, oh my god. <laughs> I must be something special. <laughs> Then she took me to a little closet of a dressing room, which was really kind of wonderful. And she said, can I get you anything? Would you like some water, some coffee, some breakfast, anything? What can I do for you? And then she came back a few minutes later and she said, oh, Miss Heron, can we take you uh, into uh, makeup now and costume? And I'm thinking, wow, I must be really something special. <laughs> and then she comes and says, they would like to see you on the set. Sarah and I did set. Right, Sarah and I did the set. Well, at the end of that day, I had a totally inflated view of who I was. I went home, and uh, the next day, I think, at school, my students put me back in my place. I never felt that inflated again. <laughs> <laughs>